Ah, uh, breathe it in, breathe it in. The week has come to an end, which means it's time for Hashtag Friday Funnies, brought to you by Cape Town Comedy Club. Of course, where we take a look at some of the biggest stories of uh, the news this week and see the humorous side of the crazy world that we live in. That's right. And here to help us this morning, we have comedian Mel Jones in studio. Mel, great to have you here. Thanks, good to have me back. I on thought after the last time you wouldn't want me. The, no, no, the, the honourable. You're honourable, I told Honourable members. The honourable mm -hmm. Mel Jones honorable. presiding. So so what's been happening in the world? Well, we did have a rather uneventful night last night, but we won't mm -hmm. talk about that. Mm -hmm. We will talk about the, the big, big uh, looming um, shadow that you, we lost you as to this, yeah. this mm. week, and yeah. we do want to pay tribute to him. I mean, this was a great man, legendary man, part of the dream team back in 1995. Yes. I mean, who could forget that amazing tackle? So we do want to say rest in peace and thank you for showing us that <clears> the country <throat> can be united through sport. I tried to wear my rugby top that I wore in 1995 when, we, when, we won, when I was 10. Yes. Um, when <laughs> <laughs> when we, that's not funny. When we won, won the, the Rugby World Cup, um, but it, I think I put it in the tumble dryer too much because it's yeah. very snug. It's very tight. It's, for some reason, it doesn't doesn't fit anymore. Yeah. So I'm going to need to get myself a new one for when we next win. When, okay. which is Foot, a new tumble dryer or a new shirt? A new tumble dryer, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be more useful. Um, also, big news. Yes. Um, Donald Trump. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's yeah. We, we don't want to... I mean, he's, he's making a mockery of everything. This time, Donald that's Trump... That's kind of like how he's going yes, to his presidency. Yes, this is, this is Donald like Trump. That. He's going to be... This, if he doesn't behave himself, mm. then that's what we're going to do to him mm. as a South African nation. So Donald Trump has, has, has been criticising the um, Zimbabwean government wow. <laughs> under the rule of President Rafael Mugabe. Can we just say pot, kettle, black? Can, is, yeah. can anyone spot the irony You here? could say that, but then that might be misconstrued. Yes, no, we can't. No, yeah, pot, so you can't kettle, orange? It. Here we go. Part called the kettle orange. It's a new saying. So exactly, because orange is the new black. So here's what <laughs> happened. He um, he decided that he was going to criticise him. We just want to say that this is like the Bafana Bafana criticising the, the Swaziland soccer team, for example, or or like the people <laughs> the people who who've made the, those tracksuits that we don't talk about, uh, criticising the fashion on the red carpet. We don't <laughs> do that. Okay. We don't. We don't, guys. It's not. It's not okay. The uh, president, can we just ask you, please? Make America great again. Leave Africa alone. We got this. We no. got. We got this. Mel, guaranteed, it's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. It's going to be not, but leave us alone. We, we're okay. In other news, yeah. um, there was uh, at the Tosa King mm -hmm. has decided that he was going to claim that women are not strong enough to run the country. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that's that's a very interesting statement to make. I know that you want to be quiet in this one mm. because most men do because they don't want to not get lucky on Valentine's Day. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, we don't want to tell any of the female rulers at the moment, the, the leaders who are in charge. We're not going to tell Germany, I mean, who are messing up their country with their free education and their completely amazing economy. We're not going to tell Argentina. We're not going to tell Liberia. We're not going to tell... Um, any of the 22 countries who currently have women in power, we won't, we won't yeah, tell yeah. them because they don't need to know those things. 22 is a current record, actually, wow. for female women. Wow. That's in incredible. Simultaneous female, uh, females in power. Um, we won't tell any of the women who have made amazing strides in helping form and shape the world as yeah. it is today. We won't tell Marie Curie. We won't tell sure. Cleopatra. We won't tell Joan of Arc. Yes, girl. We won't tell yes. Mulan. Mulan? Yes, girl, she, whoo, she <laughs> shaped the future. I mean, if girls want to carry swords now, they can because oh of gosh. her. Can so, I just say, I'm ready for a female president, just yeah. me personally on a personal note. I'm, I'm just I'm saying that I'm when so we do have a female president, this conversation is going to be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> And um, Valentine's Day, we all oh, know, yeah. is just around the corner. So, I mean, we have all of these amazing things that we can do for Valentine's Day. We have the hipster Valentiners, by the way, who yes. don't celebrate on Valentine's Day because it's on the 14th. That's how cliche. So they do the 13th or the 15th, or those of them who had money will go back and uh, they've already celebrated in January. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. And those of us who don't have money will wait till June <laughs> to celebrate. And then we have the cliche Valentiners who all wear red and white and mm -hmm. they buy amazing gifts and they all buy money. 
mugs. Every year they buy mugs. They've got a whole set, maybe buy another present. <laughs> um, and then we've also got the broke ones, you know, the ones who say, like, no, every day is Valentine's Day. No, every day is oh. not Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, buy a present. Said. And then we have the I. <laughs> I forgot it was Valentine's Day and I only found out when I opened social media, so I'm going to get something along the way. Valentiners, oh don't be those people. Mm -hmm. Plan ahead, you've got enough time. Um, uh, and speaking of Valentine's Day, there is an anti-Valentine show oh. on the 14th of February at the Cape Town Comedy Club. I will be performing Fantastic. for the singles who've complained that there's nothing to do. Heartbreaking come do comedy. Come it here. Heartbreaking comedy. I'm one of those singles who complain there's nothing to do. So come join me because okay. I'll be on the lineup. Oh, exciting Thank stuff. Thank you, Mel. Mel's great having you here. <laughs> and of course, if you're up for a laugh this weekend, be sure to visit the Cape Town Comedy Club. And that's all at the V&A Waterfront. Absolutely.